Okay. And you saw it popped up, but it hasn't moving. Okay, that popped up. It's moving still though. Now that's moving. First of all, you don't ever pop it before. But if you watch it. Microsoft Narrator window, focus on the help button. Contain narrator will read aloud what is on screen as you navigate okay, you know the procedure. Do this now, but, uh, Main narrator settings group. Speak group. Check box is unchecked. Denounce system messages. Check box That's is unchecked. Denounce flow notification. Check box is unchecked. Start narrator minimize. Check box is unchecked. Control weather narrator settings. No, Control weather narrator start or log on pane. Click help button. Voice setting button. Speak exit button. Application menu bar is three items. Exit narrator window. Focus on yes button. Control yes button. No button. This is another thing for me. Watch this now. And I don't know if it never happened. Like, okay. Uh, here we go. I'm there on the face. Okay. I'm going to turn it in. Okay. Wow. See, it's still up. Now, that movie doesn't happen either. Usually, when you log out, here's all. I'm still online, though. Check this out. I'm still online because when the computer goes off, I really go, I really goes not when the computer's off they can't use it, of course. But what if it's not really off? What if there's devices in there that keeps it on in a pocket in the computer? It could be like four pockets in there, stuff where they get connected. Because I come on and there's stuff moving around by itself all the time now. And that happened four years ago. And so on and so on. Okay. But okay. Now I never, ever, ever made an account with Microsoft. Okay? Microsoft. I never made an account with Microsoft, yet on my computer, I have an account and it's open. It's open. So, obviously, I have an account now, even though I didn't open it, and it's on my computer and I'm going. To, I'm going around doing things that I ain't doing. <clears throat> now let me say that the right way. Uh, am I Mr. Perfect? No. Do I have I tried to fight evil? Yes. I don't know to tell you what's really going on. I don't even know. All I know is that this is a fact. And I want to make sure it's clear. I just want, I, I should just maybe go on and tell every dirty secret about myself and then tell what I know about the other side. Just leave, just leave the truth into the truth. It held it all. But let me show you what I mean now. This is on there now. I don't remember if it was on there or not. To be honest, I, don't, I really don't. It could have already been on there. But this is your worst nightmare. It all connects. You're going to find out it all connects. Chava, and I trip out on this. 
This is what you don't want on your computer. Anybody, good or bad. If you're a good person or a bad person. It's just about privacy. In my opinion, only God has the right to everything. He's God. But look at this. These programs right here. Right here. This is the ones you don't want to see. These are all programs that do the same thing. You could have 10 people in one, 10 people in the other, 10 people in the other. What if you got the big kahuna? What if you made some horrible decisions in your life when you were younger? And what if you made some recently? Horrible. Horrible. Even though you have no victims, you, you victimized yourself by arrogance, by ego, or whatever. But the point I'm making is this stuff right here. These programs, I cannot delete. I do not know how to delete them. And this allows anyone to go in my computer, download whatever they want, upload. They can steal all my rights, all my intellectual property, all my art. They already stole the story, made a little picture of it. Or was it vice versa? Was nanotech causing me to read his mind? Yeah, I don't know. That's how bizarre it's gotten. But these are all things. Ease of access. It's all about, all this stuff has a way to basically do whatever they want. They are you on your computer. They are, they become you on your own computer. And anywhere they go, even if it's illegal places, you'll get the blame for it. They can say you did. What are you going to say? If you're guilty, you might be afraid and embarrassed. You might not say anything. You might just submit it. If, you know, or you might be innocent and you could deny it or not. Either way it goes, you can't win if there's a shadow walking around setting you up and there's just no way to beat the shadow. This is why I learned over and over to submit to Jesus Christ. We're not perfect at all, but God is perfect. I, I believe that. Now, it gets weirder. All those programs, right? And then you come here, and all these accounts, <coughs> excuse me, they match up with the programs. The programs I showed you, if you come in here and just look carefully, <coughs> you're going to start seeing, I'm not, for me, I, I know the truth, I know for a fact I did not create these accounts, but they're created in my name, in my account account and they're linked to my computer and it gives them the power to come into my computer, exit when they want, and no one's the wiser. Nobody will ever believe me. Because you're battling a system of where they have all the money, all the players. So if you found out a great kahuna, say you made, uh, let's just be honest, let's say recently you made a really bad mistake. Maybe it was illegal. It doesn't matter. Illegal or not, if you offend God, you offend God. But you, let's say you got the biggest kahuna that you know would help people more than your okay, My secret isn't going to help anybody. I damaged myself and I damaged God. That was it. That, those are the only victims. But yet you don't damage God because he is the best, the perfect of all perfect. That you don't want to ever do. No matter what. And I say that, okay. Look at open download. Download folder. Now there's a download folder. Oh, I hit that. And it goes, guess where? Into my computer. Isn't that... How com comfortable, right? I mean, isn't that just convenient? I never set this shit up. Someone set this up for me. I mean, I, I thank them for it. I just wish they would tell me who they are. Why they're in my account, going on my computer, and going where they want to go. And they can say, you know, they can then illegal And they can say, uh-oh, batteries up. And they can say, I can be guilty of something illegal. This is, look at both ends. I'm guilty of something illegal on the internet, like on the black internet. And I, I don't want to be gross, but let's say I, I, I masturbate to uh, a, a snuff film or something like that. It's a rape video where they, they eat your brains afterwards. Something just to be disgusting. Let's say in one scenario I'm not guilty. Let's say in another scenario I am guilty. Either way it goes, with these Black Ops programs, they've been doing it right now. Me. With this one here, you'll, you'll, you'll never know. Got only God and the devil will know. But you'll know. I mean, I, I know if I'm guilty or not. I know if I wanted to change or not. 
I know if I didn't need the change, I was good, or if I need it, you know, either way it goes. But look at this. How how, can, how easy is that to to frame anybody? If this is going on, anybody can become a victim. Even the guilty person are an innocent person. Either way it goes, because they don't have a right to your privacy. Now let's say I watched a snuff film. This is I, I, I'm not saying I watched a snuff film at all. I never did, but and I I can't lie as a Christian. I can't lie. But let's just say hypothetically I did. I swear I, I okay no I. I just want you to know I did not. I don't want you to be confused. But let's just say I did, for sake of the argument. Let's say I did for the argument's sake, right? Well, maybe they have uh, me chopping the, someone's head off in video because they use technology. Even though it's not really me, it's computer graphics. It's so, so real, it's me chopping someone's head off. Do you understand where it's a lie? But I'm, I'm still guilty of something now. But one, there's a victim. And one, I was watching it alone. I think I saw it in myself. I don't know if I'm making this clear to you. I mean, this is just one more new thing I'm discovering here, besides them trying to run me off the freeway, poison me, plant drugs in my car, remote control my computer four years ago. Um, just violate every bit of privacy that can be violated. Now, God can never violate privacy. If you saw it, God can do whatever he wants. He's God. And it's right. It's, 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 it's justice. I don't care if we agree or not, it's always going to be justice. I'm going to understand it, but it's always going to be justice. But let's just say this, though. I mean, I, I'm trying to get make the point. It's just so much to tell you. Now, they got this. And this area, the account that is in my name that I never created, yet, they, they're, first of all, they're tracking me. Someone's tracking everything I do more than the regular person. If I go into private mode, I do everything I have to do, suddenly it's still tracking me. But this is the weird part. There's someone moving around on top of everything that isn't even me. So if I'm guilty, it don't matter because they're violating me and they're doing all kinds of stuff I ain't doing. So whatever they tell you, can be a lie. And now if I'm innocent, you're not going to believe me anyway. But they're going to get away with whatever they want to do. So this, this is a dangerous program because it can be used in both ways. It can be used to lie and bring someone guilty down. Or it can be used to uh, tell the truth, bring a guilty person down. Or it can be used to vice versa. You know, you know what I'm saying. Either way it goes, they win every time. Now, if you got a, a great kahuna, say you found out some stuff recently and it's so big and nasty. Okay. Oh, hang on. This goes. This goes on. I, I'm getting sidetracked, but this goes on and on. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a, I mean, there's more stuff than that. Now, get this. I'm just finding stuff out in here myself. Okay, no, but they have control panels. They have people signing off on it. I mean, it's like a group of people. They have, suddenly I can't find it. I wonder why. They have, uh, they even have, Credentials and say they're working for our government. I mean, everything's like right there for you to see. And if I create this stuff up myself, dude, I get like I did some kind of crime. I'm trying to create all this stuff up, but these are not my programs. I don't even know how to make a program, and they're right here in front of you. But no, there's a there's more on this one, which is really blowing me away. And I want to get there and, and sort of show you. It's really important to get there. Someone is, is taking control of my computer. They're stealing my property, and they're downloading stuff that isn't mine into it. That's the truth. I sw I, you're not supposed to do this because God says that your yes, yes, and your, your nay, be nay. But on everything I love, that is the truth. Whatever I am, good or bad, that's irrelevant at this point. Someone or something has decided to control my computer and go wherever they want to go, and there's no way to ever prove it wasn't me. You can say, well, they have time things tracked. They got their face on camera. It matched up with computer time. Computer time cannot ever lie because if that lied, the computers wouldn't function right. Bullshit. There's always a way. Trust me. They can they can they can shoot your face image into the right track. You're watching a regular porn, yet it's a pop up. But behind that pop up, there's some kind of illegal stuff going on. You know. 
but beneath it, you don't even know what's going on because you're watching the pop-up that they're allowing you to see. If I allow you to see a pop-up and you're watching the pop-up, I could have stuff hidden at the same time on your computer that's not accessible and you won't see it, but it's still going on on your computer. The point I'm making is it scares me because it's like, does anyone, anyone know this is going on and how can they sit there and think you have a right to do this? Which doesn't make any sense. Like, like, let's put it this way. If I can prove to the public, if I can prove to the public that I'm going in Jimmy's computer, let's just say how to do now, and I'm going in Jimmy's computer, if I can prove to the public that I got all the power over Jimmy to go in his computer, to go exit his computer, now, regardless of if Jimmy's innocent or guilty, it don't matter because I'll make them what I want to make them. You understand where I got the power to leverage over him? So the point I'm making is <clears throat> they put drugs in my car to try to frame me. They say I do drugs. But still, I don't put them in there. Why should I get framed? They're putting them in there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. But anyway, I hope you get the point. There's a lot of stuff on here. I mean, there's a lot to show you. I want to show you the stuff I found, though. <clears throat> you got all this stuff going on. Look at these. This is all my account. And they're all connected. But I know nothing about I didn't even know this existed. It's very interesting. And it's, it's all normal, but if you read it carefully, it's saying we're a community. We band together. It says everything right in front of you, and we're going to set you up and bring you down, even though you're innocent. It says that. At the same time, it says if you're guilty, we'll find out. If you're not, then we'll let you go. It, it, it plays both sides of the card. Oh.